So here's a bonus. It's not a fern, but you usually see them with the ferns. One of my favorites, the Clipso Orchid, uh, Clipso Babosa. Their leaves are actually coming out right about now to get all of the uh, sunlight. Well, <laughs> they're always in the shade, but whatever sun that they can get, they're here. This side didn't get burned, and so you'll see them right about here. Uh, that side, unfortunately, they're no longer there because they're very shallow rooted, usually right underneath the, the mulch or the redwood duff. Really cool. One of my favorite flowers. You can also see the um, inflorescence popping up. So probably next month or um, in March, you might see the flowers coming up. Right there, over there, and then here's another one still coming up. And then this one actually, you see the little small little spike? That's the flower. That is the leaf. They only have one uh, single leaf. One thing about Napa County is that we have these cool um, species that are basically on the end of their range or the southern portion of their range, um, mainly for Calypso orchids. They're pretty inland, about 40 miles from the coast. And same with the redwoods too. The redwoods are pretty much really in. The, the state when it gets really warm and dry. So these are, these are hanging on to these microclimates that we still have left. Oh yes, that's right. Yeah, so the storage front is another one too, where it kind of holds on to those microclimates that kind of favor what you would see up in uh, Humboldt or M M Mendocino or Del Norte County, right? Um, that's what I kind of love about Napa County. These really interesting uh, changes fast. Right here is the redwoods, and if you look right over there, is a group of a Corcus gariana, uh, organ white oak, which is so cool. No lesser than 10 feet. Yeah, California is known to have many microclimates condensed um, in a small space, and Napa County is a good example of that. And then further to Chaparral, no further, so it's, it's really awesome.